There's no such thing as the don't say gay bill. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store, as you guys can see, I'm not in the studio. I'm here at Manton Money Event, this economic conference, which is the, probably the greatest conference I've been to. Good to talk about something other than politics. Um, but today, I got something special for y'all. So let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, and ladies, my God, I'm so sick of people putting out fake, false information. I know you guys have heard of the Don't Say Gay Bill. I, I, mean, I was thinking about that and I said, there's no way that it's called the Don't Say Gay Bill. And, and the reason why I felt that way is because if it's too juicy, then that means it ain't true. There's no such thing as the Don't Say Gay Bill. Democrats have attempted to use language to make a bill that Ron DeSantis has created and make it to be something negative when it is probably the most appropriate positive thing for parents in school systems protecting children. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Ron DeSantis because I'm here in Florida. So uh, shout out to Ron DeSantis. But the bill is called the Parental uh, Rights in Education Bill. Parental Rights in Education Bill. Don't that sound different? Didn't, don't say gay. What it does, and, and people don't want to be honest with this, and you, you see the media saying that it, 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 it blocks teachers were talking about gender and, and sexual education in the classroom. It, in actuality, it really doesn't. It blocks it for kindergarten through third grade. Or it allows for, or at least allows parents to sue these school districts and sue these teachers who are teaching things that are not age appropriate or something that's outside of the laws that are within the state of Florida. So it's none of this discrimination or they don't want the school system to talk about or to say things uh, involving your children and, and, and sexual education. It has nothing to do with that. It's that they shouldn't be talking about this stupid stuff to kids that are in pre-K all the way up to the third grade. But I want you to listen to what Ron DeSantis said because I feel like he always does a really good job at setting the record straight. Wrote a film. Does it say that in the bill? Does it say that in the bill? I'm asking you to tell me what's in the bill because you are pushing false narratives. It doesn't matter what critics say. It says it bans classroom instruction on sexual identity and gender orientation. For who? For, for, for grades pre-K through three. So five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds. And... Um, the idea that you wouldn't be honest about that and tell people what it actually says, it's why people don't trust people like you because you peddle false narratives. And so we disabuse you of those narratives. And we're going to make sure that parents are able to send their kid to kindergarten without having some of this stuff injected into their school curriculum. Thank you, Ron DeSantis. I just love the way he is not too brash. He he not come calling people names. He coming straight. He's coming straight out and telling the truth. There's nothing in the bill that says don't say gay. That does not exist. It, it is for families. It's for parents to protect their children against these ideologies that are being uh, skirted into your schools, unbeknownst to the parents. I know a lot of you guys have heard it. They are teaching these kids about transgenderism and, and, and gender binaries in kindergarten. In, in, in pre-K, in the first grade, second grade, these are the formidable years of the mind that kids can be molded. And of course they don't know what's going on. Some kids want to be Superman. They want to be, I don't know, they want to be an eagle. I mean, kids have a great imagination. And this is not the time for you to be peddling a, a liberal leftist agenda. This is, a, this is the time period in which you should be teaching children how to read, arithmetic, teaching them how to develop their minds to think, to behave themselves, to, to interact with one another, not pushing sexuality. So shout out to Ron DeSantis, man. I think that was a, a great approach. I think Florida is doing the right thing. And I really wish that, that states all over the country would adopt some of the things that they're doing in Florida. We should protect our children at all costs. If you don't like it, then too bad. We need to come down with the hammer. No, no, no mercy for these leftist lunatics who are trying to take over the education system. Anyway, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about what Ron DeSantis said. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all download the podcast, the B. Tatum Show podcast. Shout out to uh, uh, Ron DeSantis here in Florida and uh, Mark Madsen with Madsen Money. I love you guys. See you on the next one. I'm out.